There's been no shortage of severe hurricanes in just the past decade. And scientists say as climate change worsens, the intensity of these storms is likely to rise. Dangerous climate change is here now. Michael Weiner is one of two scientists behind a study suggesting a possible change to the Saffir Simpson scale that rates hurricanes. Using a threshold of 192 miles per hour, Weiner and Jim Cawson found five storms in the past decade that exceeded what they call a Category 6. The risk of Category 6 storms is increasing dramatically with uh, warming. The Saffir Simpson scale measures wind speeds of the storms and ranges from tropical depression to Category 5. And the National Hurricane Center lays out how destructive those winds can be, with Category 1 seeing roof damage and snapped tree branches, while Category 5 could see, quote, catastrophic damage with numerous homes destroyed and some areas uninhabitable. In a statement, NHC Director Michael Brennan says given that level, it's not clear there would be a need for another category even if storms were to get stronger. But Brennan notes the center Center focuses more on individual hazards like storm surge and inland flooding. Global News meteorologist Ross Hull says the scale could do for a change, given some Category 3 storms have delivered severe flooding, while Category 5s that did not make landfall had little impact. And, you know, our, cl our climate has changed since then. Uh, our observation skills, our, our understandings of these storms have changed. So I think it only makes sense that we, we do update how we categorize them as well. Weiner says though a Category 6 could help communicate the long-term damage of climate change, focus needs to be on the present. Pay close attention to the warnings that, that the Weather Service and the Hurricane Center give and, and follow them because your life may depend on it. While hurricanes can happen in many places, the study also notes the Gulf of Mexico, the Philippines and parts of Southeast Asia are regions of concern for a potential Category 6 storm. Sean Preville, Global News.